in this video, I'm going to take the McLaren F1, one of the most legendary, iconic and expensive supercars of all time and turn it into a 2021 model. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, it's a Sketch Monkey here. Today is a pretty special day because I'm gonna give it a shot and try to modernize the McLaren F1, one of my favorite cars of all time. It's a legend which I'm sure you know, so what I'm gonna do so I'm going to take the McLaren F1, but I'm going to modernize mostly the graphics of it, but also implement some of the graphic features of, for example, the 720S, the McLaren Senna and the Speedtail onto the proportions and the body of the F1. And let's see how that is going to turn out. <laughs> Now, before we go any further in this video, there is something I want to touch on. I've often been asked by my student if there's any way to trigger creativity. Is there any way you can have creativity on demand at any given moment? And honestly, for me personally, it's all about taking better breaks. So what do I mean by that? Well, it means you need to step away from your creative work. If you can't get it going, step away for 15, 20 minutes and do something completely different. Go work out, read a book or play a game. And speaking of playing games, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Raid Shadow Legends. So what's new in Raid? Raid just released the Artifact Forge, where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with some really cool rewards. And on top of that, they are bringing out completely new characters and champions with completely new designs and graphics, and they're working on a new Doom Tower as we speak. I have a few friends in the movie and gaming development industry working as concept artists and it's always fascinating to me to see what type of creatures and concept arts and different kinds of weird worlds spill out of their minds and Raid really has some really cool new designs not only when it comes to the characters but the overall concept art in general. Go check it out for yourself. Go to the video description below, click the special links and if you're a new player you will get 100,000 silver plus 2 clan boss keys plus 10 mystery shards plus 1 free champion, the adjudicator. And all of this will be waiting for you up here when you join the game. And of course make sure you connect with me in the game under the name Sketch Monkey. So click the link below and download the game today and the rewards will only be available for 30 days and only for new players. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring this video and now the creative break is over, let's get back to work. Before jumping into Photoshop and the digital world, it's always good to start with analog tools. It just feels good to have the pen connecting to the paper. It's a different feeling than you have when sketching with a stylus onto a display. And also it gives you a better understanding of the proportions and the styling of the car you're sketching. You get a fundamental idea of what it is you're trying to sketch and also the graphics and how the line flow works all around the car. So what I'm using here is a big pen and just a single marker and that's all I'm going to be using for this sketch and this is on some cheap print paper as you know my favorite way of sketching using simple tools and just having some fun. Now some people might say that the Gordon Murray T50 is the new McLaren F1 and yes I can kind of agree with that since I made an entire video on that a while back if you were to put out the lines of the McLaren F1 and then just copy paste those exact lines onto the uh, Gordon Murray T50, you're going to see that it's exactly the same cars when it comes to proportions. You can go and check out the full video I did a while back to see all the details I have to say about this and also show you how similar these two cars are. But at the same time, the Gordon Murray is not really a McLaren. It looks a little tame, which is fine for what it is, but I want to have a McLaren F1 2020, meaning using all of the styling features and the graphic that McLaren has today. All right, so here we are inside of Photoshop. And this, of course, is the 720S. So what I'm gonna do now is show you three McLarens from the current lineup that I'm gonna take inspiration from. I'm gonna take something from each model and apply it to the modernization of the F1. So let's start with the 720 here. And what I love about this car is the line flow of this beautiful thing. If you were to look at a car and I were to give you a uh, an example of a car with a really beautiful line flow, it would most likely be the 720S because look at this line right here. It's so strong and it's 
cuts through the entire body all, all the way into the rear lights as well right here. So that's one of these lines that I love that wraps around the car and even go not just into the body but it even goes into the graphics of the car which is another thing that just adds to the flow of this car. And since it's a mid-engine car you would expect it to have some sort of air intake right here, some cut in the body or something like this that you see on the uh, McLaren GT for example. But in this case they didn't do that. They had the air intake going in between the door of the car and the body of the car which I'm sure you've seen already but it's a really cool piece of engineering and what that does it cleans up the entire space right here and then of course you have the shoulder line which is beautifully traditional mid-engine lines like this and then on top of that you have the a pillar starting at a similar place as we're used to to mid-engine cars which is either on top of the a pillar or, or the front axle right here or just behind it like we have here but still it creates a very beautiful silhouette like this and the thing is if you were to just remove the car itself and only use these three key lines if you were to remove the car itself you can kind of see by just using these three lines and if we put out the baseline right here you can see that this is a 720s just by looking at for example this line that goes into the rear lights right there so this is very strong brad identity and what i love about the 720s is the line flow and that is what i'm going to take to the modernization of the f1 in this redesign as well next up is the mclaren speed tail what i love about this car is the front end i think this is a very it's not too aggressive Aggressive. It's a super hype. It's a hypercar, but the, the, it doesn't mean that it has to look angry all the time. And I think this front here is very graceful, and it has the typical McLaren headlights right here, which is part of the logo of McLaren which is integrated in the headlights which I think is a really cool touch and that is something that I want to integrate in the F1 modernization as well and I also love this pointy nose here that is that has become part of McLaren's DNA in the last couple of de the last decade I would say and it just looks smooth there is no massive air intakes in the front either even though it is a hypercar we don't have massive holes anywhere in the car it's just a simple intake in the bottom down here very subtle very gracious and elegant and this is what i want to take on to the f1 modernization as well but talking about graceful and elegant then of course we have the mclaren senna so what i love about this car and something that i want to bring to the modernization of the f1 is the rawness and the way that the greenhouse is integrated in the design so it looks like the greenhouse is sitting inside almost like like the greenhouse is sitting inside a shell here so you have almost like an exoskeleton and then you have these deep cuts here in the body and inside here sits the greenhouse so this is very special for the senna and i think if i had to choose between the 720s and the senna style where you have you don't really have any line flow here at all since it's a race car but what i want to do is i want to implement this type of door where you have the door and the greenhouse sitting inside of the body so it's sitting lower if you look at it from the side than the rest of the car and i want to implement that and combine it with the smooth line flow and elegance of the 720s and the speed tail and that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's see how this modernization of the McLaren F1 is going to turn out. Now, the F1 was originally a concept conceived by engineer Gordon Murray, and he convinced Ron Dennis, the owner, CEO, and founder of McLaren Group, to back the project and also engaged Peter Stevens to design the exterior and the interior of the car. Gordon Murray had always had this dream of a three-seater car where the driver had a central driving position in the car, and his idea of a fast car meant a naturally aspirated engine, low weight, and and lots of power. This meant that the McLaren F1 was built using high-tech and very expensive materials such as carbon fiber, titanium, gold, magnesium, and Kevlar. And the F1 was also one of the very first production cars to use a carbon fiber monocoque. When Murray visited the Honda Research Center with Ayrton Senna in the late 80s, he had the chance to take the Honda NSX out on the track. And this experience turned out to be a complete change of perception of 
what he wanted the McLaren F1 to be completely. Prior to driving the NSX, Murray had the top of the line Porsches, Ferraris and Lamborghinis in mind of what he wanted the F1 to be. However, the Honda NSX ride quality and handling would become the new design target. And being a fan of Honda engines, he went back to Honda Research Center on two different occasions and begged for Honda to build the engine for the F1. However, they did not want to build a 4.5 liter V10 or V12 and in the end he could not convince Honda to do it and as you all know the McLaren F1 ends up with a BMW engine. The 6.1 liter BMW V12 had a power output of 627 horsepower at 7400 rpm and 479 pound-feet of torque at 5600 rpm and the car was first unveiled at a launch show on the 28th of may 1992 at the sporting club in Monaco, where else? The production version remained the same as the original prototype XP1, except for the wing mirrors, which on the XP1 was mounted high up on the A pillars. And this made the car not road legal, as it had no indicators in the front, and McLaren was forced to take the car back and make changes to the car. However, some cars, including Ralph Lawrence, were sent back to McLaren after they were approved and to be retrofitted with the prototype mirrors that sit on top of the A pillars and who can blame them it looks really cool and especially when you have the incorporated indicators and this of course is a feature pretty much all car manufacturers would adopt several years later. And there it is guys, this is my version of a 2021 McLaren F1. Probably one of the most fun redesigns I've made in a long time because it's fun to work with cars like this because it's only 20 years ago or so, maybe yeah, close to 30 now since the McLaren F1 came out. And then they've added, then they've released a bunch of models after that. So you can take inspiration from all of those models and apply it to the beautiful shape and the legendary shape, the classic proportions of the McLaren F1. And onto the beautiful classic proportions of the McLaren F1, and you come up with something that is, looks really cool. Thanks for watching, I'm the Sketch Monkey, here's Rosie coming just in time to say goodbye, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.